Welcome, everyone. Today, we're diving into something super useful, Polya's four steps in problem solving. Whether you're tackling a tricky math problem or even just trying to figure out the best way to organize your day, these steps can help you think things through in a clear, systematic way. By the end of this lesson, you'll not only understand these steps but also see how they apply to real-life situations. Let's get started. Before we jump into the steps, let's get to know the mastermind behind them, George Polya. He was a Hungarian mathematician who made significant contributions to math, particularly in problem solving. His most famous work is the book How to Solve It, published in 1945. This book introduced the systematic approach we're learning today. His method is not just for mathematicians but for anyone looking to improve their problem solving skills. Okay. So what exactly are Polya's four steps? They provide a structured way to tackle problems, and here's how they work. First, you need to understand the problem, then you devise a plan, carry out the plan, and finally, look back to see if your solution makes sense. Easy, right? Let's break these down. Step 1. Understand the problem. The first step is to really understand the problem. This might sound obvious, but it's crucial. Here's what you need to do, identify what's being asked, figure out what information you've been given, recognize any conditions or constraints, and then rephrase the problem in your own words. This step is all about making sure you're solving the right problem. Step 2. Devise a plan. Once you understand the problem, it's time to devise a plan. This is where you think about the best way to tackle the problem. Maybe you'll draw a diagram, make a list, or write an equation. The key here is to choose a strategy that fits the problem. Not every problem can be solved the same way, so pick a method that makes sense. Step 3. Carry out the plan. Now that you have a plan, it's time to put it into action. This step is all about following through on your chosen strategy. Work through the problem step by step, making sure to do any necessary calculations or logical reasoning. Don't rush, take your time to ensure everything is done correctly. Step 4. Look back. The final step is to look back at what you've done. This is your chance to check your work. Does the solution make sense? Are there any errors? Could you have approached the problem differently? Reflecting on your solution helps you learn from the process and improves your problem-solving skills for next time. Let's see how these steps work in practice with some examples. I'll walk you through each one, step by step. Arithmetic problem. If you buy 3 pencils for 15 pesos each and 2 erasers for 10 pesos each, how much will you spend in total? Applying Polya's 4 steps in problem solving. First, understand the problem. Given, 3 pencils at 15 pesos each, 2 erasers at 10 pesos each. Required, total cost. Second, devise a plan. Calculate the cost of the pencils and the erasers separately, then add them together. Third, carry out the plan. Total cost equals 3 by 15 plus 2 by 10 equals 45 pesos plus 20 pesos equals 65 pesos. Fourth, look back. Check the calculations to ensure accuracy. The total cost is 65 pesos. Geometry problem, a rectangle has a length of 10 centimeters and a width of 5 centimeters. What is its area? Applying Polya's four steps in problem solving. First, understand the problem. Given, length equals 10 centimeters, width equal 5 centimeters. Required, area of the rectangle. Second, devise a plan. Use the formula for the area of a rectangle, area equals length times width. Third, carry out the plan. Area equals 10 centimeters times 5 centimeters equals 50 square centimeters. Fourth, look back. The area is correctly calculated as 50 square centimeters. Algebraic problem. Solve the equation 3x plus 5 is equal to 20. Applying Polya's four steps in problem solving. First, understand the problem. Given, the equation 3x plus 5 is equal to 20. Required, the value of x. Second, devise a plan. Isolate the variable x by performing inverse operations. Third, 
Carry out the plan. Subtract 5 from both sides, 3x equals 15. Divide by 3x equals 5. Fourth, look back. Substitute x equals 5 back into the original equation to check, 3, 5, plus 5 is equal to 20, which is correct. Financial problem, John has a monthly salary of 30,000 pesos. He spends 8,000 pesos on rent, 5,000 pesos on groceries, and 3,000 pesos on transportation. How much money does he save each month? Applying Polya's four steps in problem solving. First, understand the problem. Given, monthly salary equals 30,000 pesos, rent equals 8,000 pesos, groceries equals 5,000 pesos, transportation equals 3,000 pesos. Required, monthly savings. Second, devise a plan. Subtract the total expenses from the monthly salary. Third, carry out the plan. Total expenses equals 8,000 pesos plus 5,000 pesos plus 3,000 pesos equals 16,000 pesos. Monthly savings equals 30,000 pesos, 16,000 pesos equals 14,000 pesos. Fourth, look back. Verify the calculations to ensure accuracy. John saves 14,000 pesos each month. Geometry problem, a triangle has sides of lengths 6 centimeters, 8 centimeters, and 10 centimeters. Is this triangle a right triangle? Applying Polya's four steps in problem solving. First, understand the problem. Given, sides of the triangle equals 6 centimeters, 8 centimeters, 10 centimeters. Required, determine if the triangle is a right triangle. Second, devise a plan. Use the Pythagorean theorem, for a right triangle, C caret 2 equals A caret 2 plus B caret 2, where C is the hypotenuse. Third, carry out the plan. Check if 10 caret 2 equals 6 caret 2 plus 8 caret 2. 100 equals 36 plus 64 equals 100. Since the equality holds, the triangle is a right triangle. Fourth, look back. Reassess the application of the Pythagorean theorem. The triangle is indeed a right triangle. Algebra problem. Solve the system of equations. 2x plus 3y equals 6 and xy equals 1. Applying Polya's four steps in problem solving. First, understand the problem. Given, system of linear equations. Required, values of x and y. Second, devise a plan. Use substitution or elimination to solve the system. Third, carry out the plan. From xy equals 1, express x as x equals y plus 1. Substitute into the first equation, 2, y plus 1, plus 3y equals 6. Simplify and solve. 2y plus 2 plus 3y is equal to 6. 5y plus 2 equals 6. 5y equals 4. y equals 4 slash 5. Substitute y equals 4 slash 5 back into x equals y plus 1 to find x. x equals 4 slash 5 plus 1. x equals 4 slash 5 plus 5 slash 5. x equals 9 slash 5. Fourth, look back. Substitute x equals 9 slash 5 and y equals 4 slash 5 into the original equations to verify correctness. Word problem. A train travels 120 kilometers in 2 hours and then 180 kilometers in 3 hours. What is the average speed of the train over the entire journey? Applying Polya's four steps in problem solving. First, understand the problem. Given, distances equals 120 kilometers and 180 kilometers, times equals 2 hours and 3 hours. Required, average speed over the entire journey. Second, Devise a plan. Use the formula, average speed equals total distance slash total time. Third, carry out the plan. Total distance equals 120 kilometers plus 180 kilometers equals 300 kilometers. Total time equals 2 hours plus 3 hours equals 5 hours. Average speed equals 300 kilometers slash 5 hours equals 60 kilometers per hour. Fourth, look back. Check the calculations for accuracy. 
The average speed is 60 km per hour. Complex algebra problem. Solve the quadratic equation x squared minus 5 times plus 6 is equal to 0. Applying Polya's four steps in problem solving. First, understand the problem. Given, quadratic equation. Required, values of x. Second, devise a plan. Use the factoring method or the quadratic formula. Third, carry out the plan. Factor the equation. x squared minus 5 times plus 6 is equal to 0. x2, x3 equals 0. Set each factor equal to 0, x2 equals 0 and x3 equals 0. Solve for x x equals 2 and x equals 3. Fourth, look back. Substitute x equals 2 and x equals 3 back into the original equation to check. Both satisfy the equation. Distance problem. Two cyclists start from the same point and travel in opposite directions, one at 15 km per hour and the other at 20 km per hour. How far apart will they be after three hours? Applying Polya's four steps in problem solving. First, understand the problem. Given, speeds equals 15 km per hour and 20 km per hour, time equals three hours. Required, distance apart after three hours. Second, devise a plan. Calculate the distance each cyclist travels, then sum the distances. Third, carry out the plan. Distance equals speed times time. Cyclist 115 km slash h times 3 hours equals 45 km. Cyclist 220 km slash h times 3 hours equals 60 km. Total distance apart equals 45 km plus 60 km equals 105 km. Fourth, look back. Verify the calculations. The cyclists are 105 km apart after 3 hours. Mixture problem. A chemist needs to mix 30% alcohol solution with 50% alcohol solution to obtain 100 liters of 40% alcohol solution. How much of each solution should be used? Applying Polya's four steps in problem solving. First, understand the problem. Given, 30% and 50% alcohol solutions, 100 liters of 40% alcohol solution required. Required, amount of each solution. Second, devise a plan. Let x be the amount of 30% solution and 100 minus x be the amount of 50% solution. Set up the equation, 0.30x plus 0.50, 100 minus x, equals 0.40 times 100. Third, carry out the plan. Solve the equation, 0.30x plus 50 minus 0.50x equals 40. Simplify, minus 0.20x plus 50 equals 40. x equals 50 liters, of 30% solution. 100 minus x equals 50 liters, of 50% solution. Fourth, look back. Check the solution by substituting back into the equation. So, that's Polya's four steps in a nutshell. Whether you're solving a math problem or figuring out how to tackle a project, these steps can be incredibly useful. They help you approach challenges in a structured way, making it easier to find effective solutions. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Thank you for watching this video on Math and PhilTech TV. We hope you found it informative and engaging. If you enjoyed the content, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update, and share this video with your friends and fellow learners. Your support helps us continue to create great content. See you in the next video.